the 1st of September, I did my part. In fact, on the next day, I think second on, on third, I took a vouchers worth 30,000 shillings and she refused to take them. I gave her scary to take them to her, but she sent them back. I don't know, she said that she wanted cash. A uh, day after that, I think two or three days after that, on the 7th, I have all the, all, all the evidence on my phone. If you need them later on, I can share them with you. Mm -hmm. I sent her 30,000 shillings via cash. Okay. Well, the 30,000 in a fuck, why are 30,000 is supposed to be for food and toiletries. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, I thought giving her vouchers uh, to, buy, to get stuff from Carrefour is the same, same thing. You can go buy, buy whatever you need from there. Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show. And of course, you're the number one online TV show. And guys, today I'm having Kennedy Rapuda on the show. Uh, most of him got to know him uh, because he is a lover to one and only Amber Ray. So guys, uh, there's this story that has been making rounds online uh, about uh, him uh, being denied access to his son. So I'm here so that we can get to know what exactly is happening. And also, Pia Tuta, Tutaguzia Udaku, Najwa Palatra, <laughs> 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 stress to zile receipt, Jamie. <laughs> stress. No, I'm okay. If I if if I'm paying it, it means I have it, so I'm okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, what are you Ah, tajiri pale na ka stress a kilipa iyo pesa. See, labda ukona ukona extray. They can even see my heart. So, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, people always talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if I, uh, I'm I'm totally okay with it. I'm happy with it. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, like not only that, do you guys really have to record it? If it's something that happens oftenly, do we really have to uh, to be shown online? Well, it's our life at the end of the day. If they want to hide their lifestyle, that's okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to show ours, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, kila mtu na lifestyle yake. Yes. Wow, that was just a by the way. Anyway, um, the story that has been trending sana mm -hmm. kwa mtandao, yes. uh, tuliona pale birthday set up, it was looking amazing, but unfortunately, uh, your son didn't turn up. Uh, maybe we can get to know uh, deep about this story, because the story imetembea sana kwa mtandao from actually before. Yes. Like, semekana, you're a deadbeat dad, you don't take care of the son. Mm -hmm. Now, I uh, also saw the, I, I think, let me talk about... Uh, what I saw yesterday, I'm being tagged of being a dead bit, mm -hmm. and there are some court papers which I also shared online. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think um, I'm only responding based on what was shared, mm -hmm. because first of all, uh, this issue involves a minor who's just eight years older, mm -hmm. and I, I really don't think it was okay for such court papers to be shared in public. Mm -hmm. These are things that I think we could have handled them in court. But now that uh, they've circulated already in public, I think it's only fair if I, I only, people also hear my side of the story. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, these court papers actually were shared to the mother of my son, myself, and her lawyer. Mm -hmm. And maybe any other person can have access, uh, maybe at the clerks to the magistrate. Mm -hmm. uh, we are ruling out the clerks of the magistrate to, to sh share them. We are ruling out uh, her lawyer and my lawyer so probably we all know who had a hand in sharing these uh, documents. But since they're also in public, I think it's also fair that uh, I also give out my side of the, of the story. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when the, the hearing was done, I think they gave out a verdict on the 1st of September this year. Mm -hmm. And I was to have a custody mm -hmm. to my son. And remember, my son's birthday is on the 12th of September. And uh, on the same date, I went to school mm -hmm. and I surprised him. Mm -hmm. I bought him a cake, some gifts for their children and everything else. The mother showed up around 40 minutes later. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that same week was supposed to be my week, my weekend. Okay, with him? With him. Okay. So I've, I've hired him a, a driver and uh, I've also bought him a car that picks him from home and uh, drops him to school. Mm -hmm. So I told the driver, once you've dropped him at home, uh, pick him up, bring him to my premises, the mother is aware. So when the driver got there on Friday in the evening, um, he called the, the mother, and the mother told him that he can't release him yet because it is his birthday the next day. So this is what, what the driver told me. Mm -hmm. So she denied me access once again, you know? And uh, we had paid for, for the birthday setup. up. Kila Kitu, even the cake was there. I'd even invited some of his, uh, his other friends. So you can imagine going through uh, that expenses and you are, your child is a no-show. And I sent a driver with a car to go pick him and she refused. Mm -hmm. Why does she refuse? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. 
So it was, it, I, I was really, really heartbroken. Because remember, I, I first sued her on the 22nd of December last year. Mm -hmm. And my reasons for suing her was because she went to, to one of the bloggers, mm -hmm. the Telegram blogger, and spewed a lot of uh, lies about me, how I'm a deadbeat, how I'm this and that. And you see, these things, somehow the child grows up eventually. And I will never want my son to grow up only that I was never, I was never there to support him. And that's the, re the reason why I took this matter to court. She's not the one who took it, I'm the one who took it to court. And I took it so that I can have access to my son. Yeah, so that's what happened. Okay. Uh, so I would like to understand uh, from the, the papers that are online, mm. in Asemekana you're really asking for breakdown here, 30,000 that mm. you're supposed, I think, to give her mm. or for the upkeep of mm. the kid. Is that true? First of all, when the verdict came, uh, the judge said that I'm supposed to pay for the school fees and school-related related expenses, and I'm supposed to give her 30,000 shillings per month. Okay. She, on her side, she's supposed to provide, I think, she's supposed to pay her own rent, uh, medical uh, care, mm -hmm. uh, shelter, clothing, and these other things. And as far as I'm concerned, when the judgment came out on the 1st of September, I did my part. In fact, on the next day, I think second on, on third, I took a voucher as worth 30,000 shillings, mm -hmm. and she refused to take them. I gave her credit to take them to her, but she sent them back. Mm -hmm. I don't know, she said that she wanted cash. Mm -hmm. uh, day after that, I think two or three days after that, on the 7th, I have all the, all, all the evidence on my phone. If you need them later on, I can share them with you. Mm -hmm. I sent her 30,000 shillings via cash. Okay. Well, the 30,000 in a fact, where are 30,000 is supposed to be for food and toiletries. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, I thought giving her vouchers, uh, to buy, to get stuff from Carrefour is the same, same thing. You can go buy, buy whatever you need from there. But then she said, she's the one who knows where she's supposed to shop. And she had a fair point. So later on, I sent her 30,000 shillings uh, via M-Pesa. <clears throat> and then uh, school fees is fully, I paid the full school fees for my son. When it comes to transport, I spoke with the school. They say they don't have a, a school bus that goes all the way to where my son lives. So I was forced to go to Mombasa and buy a car for him. The car was around 830,000 shillings. I bought a car, and then I got a driver as well for the same, same car. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm paying him monthly uh, 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 salary as well. Mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, I've done everything that the court asked me to do. You understand? Mm -hmm. I bought a car to, uh, uh, for his transport. I've hired a driver uh, to, to ferry him to, uh, to and fro. I've paid 30,000 shillings, which, uh, which is the monthly upkeep and I've paid his full school fees, I've bought the uniform, anything that my son need, I have provided it. Mm -hmm. All the evidence, I have them here on my phone. Mm -hmm. Now, when I showed this uh, to my lawyer, my lawyer told me it is unfair for you to pay 30,000 shillings, yet uh, uh, she's also working. You understand? So he was of the, of the opinion if she's working, uh, uh, I should actually be paying 10 or 15,000 shillings because I'm taking care of the, of, of the school fees mm -hmm. and I'm taking care of the transport. And also, uh, the, the verdict from the judge was that we are supposed to have equal custody. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, uh, let's say he closes for like two months, I'm supposed to have him for the first one month fully. Mm -hmm. So it was a matter of interpretation then. Do I still have to send out this 30,000 shillings yet I'm with my son? Mm -hmm. Because the money is supposed to go towards my son upkeep, not for her. You understand? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, everybody has a right to ap appeal. Even her, she has a right to appeal. The judgment probably went against her favor. She has every right. And even me, I'm exercising the same, same right. I'm not seeing any wrongdoing, because mm -hmm. sometimes the, the son will be living here with me. So my lawyer was like, this doesn't make sense. Let us uh, try and, and uh, do an appeal mm -hmm. so that we can seek fresh interpretation. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong that I've done, because as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, this month I've already paid that money. I, there's a car that takes him to, sc uh, to school and back. Mm -hmm. I've paid the school fees. But why am I still being denied access? Mm -hmm. That's my question. Remember... Uh, Have you been seeing him uh, previously? Seen him once before, the, before the birth? It has been frustrations, uh, Eve. Mm -hmm. Frustrations after frustrations. Mm -hmm. Even for me to, to get mad and actually post that thing, it's only my, my, my wife and the children in this house who knows what I go through. Mm -hmm. uh, when I first uh, sued on the 22nd of uh, December, the judge um, told us that uh, I'll be having access once every two weeks. And that was very painful for me, because sometimes I will pick him from school maybe once or twice every week. But now, imagine I'm being told to only see him once in two weeks. Every Saturday, I pick him from 9 a.m. and I drop him uh, by 4 p.m. It was very hard, but I said, if it's a judgment, 
from the court, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I will obey it, obey it to the latter. Mm -hmm. But even this time, she will still frustrate me. There are three times whereby I went and she said that the, that, that the kid was sick. And I told her, okay, if he's sick, can I come and at least see him in that hospital? She doesn't allow it. Sometimes, mother, they have traveled, you know. And I'm only seeing him once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. So if she denies me access, let's say, one weekend, it means I go a whole month. So without a month you see him no. twice? Yeah. That was ac according to the, to the first interim orders. And then the second interim orders, we argued that the son has closed school. I should be given more access. And the judge told me that now I should be seeing, picking him on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Mm -hmm. First Monday, I think I picked him. Second Wednesday, I picked him. But when she realizes that my son comes to my house, now it was a whole issue. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, she doesn't want my son to come to my house. But the, but the judge gave clear instructions that I should have the son under no any supervision. Mm -hmm. So uh, for that two weeks, I only saw him twice, Monday and Wednesday. Saturday, I went there, she refused. Monday, I sent my driver, she refused. So I had to drive back all the way, and then I picked him. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, she refused. Saturday, she refused. So I waited for the court orders, and the court orders were given on the first off of, uh, of, of September, this September, actually. And then now we say that since I wasn't with him that weekend, I'm supposed to pick him the next weekend. Mm -hmm. Next weekend, she refused. Mm -hmm. okay? The main reason is because she doesn't want him in your place. Yeah. Now wait, mm -hmm. uh, that weekend she refused. Now we say that she's, since she, she has refused, now on the 15th, which is now this last weekend, I will have him. And uh, that's why I went to the school on Tuesday, did my bash, knowing that I will still have him over the weekend. And when I have him over the weekend, I felt it's just good if I do him a birthday party, because he will be with us here. You understand? And uh, that Friday is now is when, is when I sent my driver to go pick him. She refused. Mm -hmm. So what wrong have I done? I have done all, I've obeyed all the court orders. If, even if we, have, we are having a problem with the 30,000 shillings, I've already paid it. But should you appeal and the court says, no, I, have, I must pay it, I will still pay it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Do you have maybe plans for him for the birthday as well? Even if she had a plans for him, that is my weekend at the end of the day. She could, have she could have chosen her own weekend and do a birthday party with him. Mm -hmm. That was supposed to be my weekend. She was very, very clear. Mm -hmm. Remember, the previous two weekends, she denied me access. Now, even the, the third weekend, you still deny me access. Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, maybe you can let us know. Why is, he, uh, why is she having an issue uh, with him coming to your place? Where are you supposed to go with him? Now, according to, to the email that was shared by, by, I think, her lawyer, they say that uh, they want my son to come here under supervision. Uh, I don't know if she will come here with her with house help. Already we have three house helps in this house. As far as I'm concerned, the house belongs to our wife. How do I even convince my wife that my son is supposed to be here with another house help over the weekend? Does that even make sense? So I told them no, because she, she mentioned that my, my son has a, a, a delicate, I don't know, stomach problem. There are certain foods which you should not be eating, but in school he eats all the food as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So we told them that why don't you write a list of what to avoid and what you should be eating, and then you will make sure that we abide by that. So I don't know if that was one of the reasons why she refused to let my son come here. And just so you know, by the way, the court sent a child protection officer to come to this house when, when, the, when the case was still ongoing. And he came, he saw every room, mm -hmm. okay, uh, downstairs and up, upstairs, and even it have interviewed us. In his report, he said very well that there's nothing in this, in this house that could compromise the well-being of my son. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. when, uh, her, when we were doing a cross-examination as well, I said, I live here uh, with my son, who's Gavin. I live here with my daughter, uh, Savani, and I live here with my four-month's daughter. If they're all okay, why would my son not be okay in the same, same house? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So, I think she's just there to frustrate me. Probably she thinks she's a woman, she's above the, the, the law, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that made us to now do an appeal. Okay. Yes. There are some rumors that goes around when it comes to your son coming at your place. Mm -hmm. uh, Kuna Pahali Nasimekananga, oh, she said that uh, she doesn't like Tabia Zinginez, uh, your wife, mm -hmm. and everything. That, mm -hmm. That's some of her reasons that she wouldn't want the son yes. to come here. Mm -hmm. Did she say that to you as well? Uh, she has mentioned this through her lawyer, mm -hmm. and she has every right as a mother. And that's why I'm saying once again, the court, there's a court process because even these things, she filed them in court. And she mentioned all these things, she shared pictures of my wife, blah, blah, you know. Mm -hmm. But the court said at the end of the day, I have freedom of expression. 
that cannot be taken uh, from me and unless now she changes the constitution. You understand? That is one. Number two, whatever I share on social media, like the Insta Insta Instagram has a strict, um, they, they, they have a, a way of making sure that certain pictures or videos cannot circulate and they normally take them down. My son is barely eight years old. How does he even see these things on social media? Number three, uh, why would I do such things in front of my son, for example? Let's say if that was her main issue, why would I do these things in, f in front of my own son? Why? Have you ever seen me doing any probably nasty videos and m my kids are there? Mm -hmm. None. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm a parent. I have four children. There's nothing I can do to compromise the life of my son. Mm -hmm. So all these things, she's just using them as an excuse, you know. Mm -hmm. So if they, if, and that's why we went to court in the first place. If the court see, saw no pro problem with all this, then who are you to still stick, stick to what you believe in? Because what makes I think that she loves this son more than I do? The court said we have an equal custody. So I love him as much as she does. So the best thing she, she can do is not to use this son as a pawn. Even if she has differences against me, it is fine. But at the end of the day, do not let an innocent eight-year-old boy to go through all this. He deserves happiness from both the parents. And since uh, maybe that day whereby uh, she, he didn't show up for the birthday, did you, were you able to communicate with her or with your lawyer? What, are, what is your way for? My, my lawyer sent uh, an email to them once again mm -hmm. and uh, told them that we are not happy at uh, how she's handling all this because this was supposed to be my weekend mm -hmm. and I was even supposed to travel that very weekend and I cancelled all the plans so that I could, I could be with him because mm -hmm. uh, my wife was going to Moya the, the, the next day. I wasn't going to go with her. I was to remain here because it was the first weekend that you were going to spend with my son. So I cancelled all that only for her to deny me access. So yes, um, my lawyer sent, uh, sent them uh, an email uh, telling them our frustrations. Mm -hmm. So from, from here we will see how it goes because the court, the, the matter is still in court and we are still waiting for another judgment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how is your relationship with your son? My son loves me. My son loves me to the moon and back. Because as far as I'm concerned, he is my only biological son. And I love him. You understand? Mm -hmm. And all I want to do is just be with him. You know? He enjoys, he, ha he has even been in this house. Mm -hmm. And he enjoys even playing with Gavin. I've taken him to golf, you know? But even him, he, he doesn't understand. Because I promise him, I tell him, this weekend I'll come and pick you. Mm -hmm. Only to drive there. And Askari tells me that uh, she has given him information that we, we don't let you in. Can you imagine me driving all the way from here to Ngong? Monday, no access. Wednesday, no access. Saturday. And I've never missed any single day that I'm supposed to pick him. I've never missed going. It was only one time that I sent a driver and she denied him access. Then I had to now drive back again. Okay. And how do you explain to your son when you meet him that uh, why you didn't show up? Because maybe he thinks you didn't go to pick him. It, it got to a point where I started telling him because now I didn't want him to feel as if the dad is a liar because I will promise him I'll, I'll, I'll be picking you on uh, Monday, Wednesday and, and, and Saturday and he asked me, uh, uh, Papa, I, I waited, what happened? Mm -hmm. So I tell him I, I, I came but I was told that you are unwell, mm -hmm. you know. So it, it's, it's been hard because, because there's so much going on and I also don't want to, don't want to sort of bring him in this drama Oh, and I'm also trying to protect him as a father. I, I don't want him to know all these things going on at the end of the, at the, end of the day, you know. So it's, 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 it's sort of, uh, it's, it's so complicated, mm -hmm. yes. But I hope he's growing up, he's a, he's a smart boy. Probably one day when he grows up and he sees all these things on the social media, he will actually know what happened. Mm -hmm. But I want him to find it out on his own. Mm -hmm. Then maybe after that, I'll be able to explain to him what happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at this point, uh, you're not ready to tell him maybe sometimes you're denied access? No. I, I, I don't want him to have that mentality about his mother. Mm -hmm. I want him to grow up knowing that the mother is a good person, nini blah, blah. But I want him to know these truths eventually on his own. He's a boy, mm -hmm. he's smart, he's growing up, and he will know these things one way or the other one. Mm -hmm. And then maybe at that point when he raises it, now I can sit down with him and then I can explain to him what happened. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to protect him as much as I can. And do you think the mom is doing the same uh, for you on the other side? Uh, I, have no, I have no idea because my son is very smart. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't tell me stuff about his mother. And I'm sure he, he, doesn't, tell, um, he, he, he doesn't tell my stuff to the mother. But I'm sure by now he knows what's going on. But uh, probably he's just dis, dis, decided to calm down. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, this matter, I would like to know when you guys went to court, mm. uh, there was no maybe something like you're not supposed to share it online or something. Why does it keep coming back online? Number one, uh, I think, and I've said this again, my, the issue here is is, a, is about my wife, Amberay, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. There was a time I, I, we went to Atamu, and the same same day there was a story that came to uh, the Telegram uh, blogger. Mm -hmm. And, there, and uh, this person said that, uh, oh, I'm a deadbeat. I've not been su supporting my son, that I'm broke, I don't even own a toilet. There was a lot of stuff about that. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the blogger reached out to me and said, we have this information that you're a deadbeat. And, and I, I told him as far as I'm, because I didn't believe it. Because as far as I'm concerned, I had always been providing for my son. Mm -hmm. if, even if you asked me to provide a photo of me being with my son, ever since he, 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 he was born, at least every two weeks, I am with him. I have all the photos, I have all the information. I'm always, ever since he was born, I'm always with him. You know? Uh, when he was born, after some time, they went to live with mother in Meru. I will drive every, every weekend. And by then, I was doing masters in USIU. When I'm done with, with the class at 9 p.m., I will drive all the way to Meru to go and see him. Every weekend. You know? So, I don't understand, uh, Eve. So you mentioned that this whole issue, you feel like in a kujaju because of your wife. Yeah, exactly. What does your wife have to do with your relationship with, probably, you, with your son probably, and the baby mom? Prob probably I moved on and I'm, and I'm married and I'm happy. So there are people who maybe they've not moved on, you know, um, and, and maybe he, it, it's sort of paining them. But what, what do I have to do with that? At the end of the day, I don't care how you feel and you shouldn't even care how I feel. What matters is our son. All these issues she's raising, she could have raised them through the court, and she did. But the court gave its verdict. Now, if you have a problem with that, just follow what the court has said, but do an appeal. You understand? The best she could do is allow me access to my son, and then she can appeal that decision later on. Mm -hmm. And maybe she can win or she can lose. But why deny me access, and the court has said very well, that I should be having, having him every alternating weekend, I should be having him every alternating public holidays, I should be having him every school holiday. Why, why, why do, you, do you think that you have to keep on disobeying court orders? Mm -hmm. Why? Okay. And before maybe you moved on or before you got married to Amber, uh, did you guys had similar issues? As far as I'm concerned, we, we've always had our issues ever since we started dating. Mm -hmm. And then we were blessed with uh, one boy, who's my son. Issues have always been there until we separated. Mm -hmm. But we never had issues about co-parenting, mm -hmm. completely. Because I will see, she will let me see my son very well. I, I, I will provide upkeep whenever I was able to, and you didn't have any issue. Ask yourself, how come these issues came out now when I was with my wife? And like I said before, when I was in, when I was in uh, Watamu, mm -hmm. she fed this blogger all those information. Mm -hmm. And I told this blogger, as far as I'm concerned, <clears throat> uh, I'm a good father. I provided for my son as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And I, I never thought that this blogger was on a fishing ex expedition. Because I, I thought he was just lying to get information from me until he shared her photo. Um, uh, uh, is a photo that, that she was pregnant. Until I knew actually this this woman is the one who went there. But even after 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 that, I never changed her name in any manner. I kept quiet. Uh, when I went back to Ngong that time, because I used to sh uh, shopping every month, Nanampelekia, and she lives with her uh, mother. And I told her mother, kindly talk to your daughter ask her to stop putting these things on social media. If she has an issue with me, let her address me directly, and then you can sort it out. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was it. Until uh, some, some time again, she now involved her lawyer about upkeep, nini, blah, blah, you know, a lot of uh, stories. And then we went, I, I hired a lawyer, and then we met with her lawyer. We tried to discuss this, but uh, she, it, was, it was very messy. Because at some point, her lawyer had to take her out, calm her down, bring her back. There was a lot of insults, left, right, and center. And you could not have any agreement. And then we gave them two weeks. Uh, uh, by then, she, uh, after that, I think she went back to this uh, Telegram blogger and now spewed all the information, you know, said a lot of lies about me, and she called me a number of names. I responded back, but I've never called her any name. Until after, after that, now we, I sued her. And that's when I said on the 22nd of uh, December last year. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, and even after I'd sued her, I was still willing to take this matter out of court so that we can sit down and then we can talk. Mm -hmm. I tried to involve one of our friends called Carol, 
Fela, please talk to your friend. Ask her, I don't want this matter to keep on going in court. Can we sit down with her lawyer or, or, or whichever party so that we can talk? She didn't want. Mm -hmm. After some time, her brother-in-law, now, now the husband to her sister, reached out and told me, hey, I don't want this matter to keep on going in, in, to, to, to be in court because one day your son will grow up and he will see that uh, he was between all these issues. And I told him, I don't have any issue. We can still talk and I can take this matter out of court. And, uh, and I told him, the only thing that I want is I want to spend time with my son. I cannot keep on dishing out money left, right, and center, and I don't have access. If you give me access from nine up to four, then what time do I have even to travel with him? When I have a family vac vacation, why don't you give me a chance to also travel with him, teach, teach him stuff as a boy? You understand? And this, uh, the brother-in-law really tried. We will meet every weekend trying to solve this, but the other party declined. Even my lawyer wrote to the other lawyer and, and told them, can we uh, have a settlement outside court? We talk, we, we solve it. Her lawyer responded back and said they, they wrote to her. She never responded. So we waited for the court verdict to be given. When it was given, they said that I have an access to my son every alternating weekend. They told me what I should be giving out. I provided the school transport. I've paid all the full school fees. I've given 30,000 shillings, which I was told to do. What wrong have I done? I've done everything as far as I'm concerned. Why is she denying me access? Mm -hmm. Don't understand. Mm -hmm. okay. you yeah, I get. And um, right now, you guys, uh, since you took the matter to court, do you communicate or you just handle it in court directly? She, she, she blocked me. And uh, it, it's even hard to communicate with such a person because I will communicate with her. And the next thing I realize, she's leaked everything on in public. So it's, it's difficult for me to communicate with her. So I normally tell her, if you have any issue, uh, kindly talk to your lawyer. Your lawyer will contact my lawyer, and then we'll solve it. Because I want us to have structures. Now, once we have a structure, then now probably we'll see if you can communicate. Because we will not have a lawyer for the rem remaining 10 years. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, uh, he's just a minor until he turns 18 years. Yeah. So that means we're in this situation for the next 10 years. Because it's difficult. Sometimes I might communicate with her, and then who knows? She might lick it. So I told her the best way is, if you have any reservations, contact your lawyer. He will contact my lawyer, and he will contact me. So I'm still waiting for this appeal or we, what, what, whatever it is to be decided on, and then from then we will see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And uh, I would like to know, how did you feel as a dad that day that you had organized everything, you had invited his friends uh, for him not to show up? Uh, had, you f uh, had you maybe thought of something like that? You know, sometimes when you stay with such a person, you can be ready, anything can happen. To be, to be honest, that was one of the lowest moments I went through as a, as a father. I was pained. And, uh, and uh, I think we, 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 had, we had gone for a meeting with my wife. And, and I came and sat on the very, very place that I was seated. I sat there for like two hours. And I was so mad, you know. And given that I also have a high blood pressure, it got to a point whereby I had to go back to the hospital and take medication for high blood because it was getting worse, you know. I was so pained, Kabisa. I was in a lot of pain, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I, have, I only want to spend this special uh, occasion with my son. It is his birthday. I have gone over and above to make sure that he can have as much fun as possible, only to be denied access. Mm -hmm. And the reasons not even given. Mm -hmm. I'm a law abiding citizen. I have done everything that the court asked me to do. You understand? Mm -hmm. Kill I have done to the latter. I have never disobeyed any court order, even one. But I'm like, why is she doing, you know? And I said, at the end of the day, I'm a father. Uh, I'm also a husband in this house. We move on. Mm -hmm. And I said, I will address everything through court. So for her to, to go on and leak these things, a, a whole uh, uh, sort of uh, affidavit in public, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. I don't know if she's doing this so that she can get a remorse from, from people. I don't understand. Because mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, I have paid. Everything is here. You know, I've done everything that I'm supposed to be doing as a father. Mm -hmm. Kila kitu. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and um, since then, has the lawyer, her lawyer communicated to you or not yet? The, the lawyer responded, as usual, he normally responds, but you, you know, he's a lawyer, he, he will have to defend her as much as, mm -hmm. as much as he can. But then how do you defend someone who has been in contempt of court for more than even 10 times? Because mm -hmm. as far as... What I'm, was the reason why the 
kid couldn't come. He, he gave a reason. I, I don't even understand. It's, it's just complicated. We could not even respond, you know. Mara, he, 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 I, I don't know, he said that she tried to call me and I, and I don't know, uh, 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 she, she wasn't able to reach me. And I'm, and, and I'm like, wh wh whether you call me or not, that is supposed to be my weekend. It's not about you calling me or not. I sent a driver and the driver called you and you told a, a driver that you can't release him. So why call me? You understand? There's a structure which has been laid by the court that this Friday I'm supposed to pick him and that's why I've sent a driver. So if you told, if you told the, the driver that you, do, uh, you don't want to give him out, then why call me for what exactly? It doesn't make sense. You know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, your daughter, mm -hmm. uh, the big one, mm -hmm. uh, Naye and Tunonanga. You guys, um, I think you're working out well. Yes. I would like to know how, your relationship with her mom. Uh, the relationship with Savannah's mom is very perfect. Mm -hmm. Even now, she, she, she actually reached, reached out the other day and, and, and told me what are all these things that I'm seeing on social media. Because she knows that I'm a good dad. And she knows that I've been with Savani ever since she was born. Why would I be good to my daughter Savani? Why would I be good to, to, my, to my daughter Africana? Why would I be good to my other uh, uh, stepson, Gavin, and be so bad to my only son? He's my only biological son that I have, you know. Why would I be bad to him? For what reasons? My daughter lives, lives here with us. She, she goes to school, you, you know, every Sunday evening, and then the driver picks her Friday. She's with us all the weekend. So why would I be bad to the only son that I have? Why? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself that. Mm -hmm. Why would I be, be so good to three kids and then I'm bad to, uh, to one kid? Mm -hmm. For what reasons? Okay. So you cooperating with the, your daughter's mom has been good? It has been good. It has been seamless. It has been beautiful. She's always supportive. She, she calls her and she knows that, that I'm a good dad. And she, we've had the best co-parenting with that woman mm -hmm. ever since. Mm -hmm. And we've had the best relationship with her. And she has a good rapport and relationship with my wife as well. And you've done it so well. Even uh, when, uh, when, when, when my son didn't come, my, my daughter was asking me, where's Nate? Why didn't he come? I didn't even know what to tell her. I just told her that he wasn't able to come, but when he's able to, he will. Gavin asked me, so I didn't even know what to tell them at the so end of the they day. They don't know what is happening. They just know it's complicated, but they don't understand that I've, I've done all these things, we've done set up, blah, blah, blah. Why is he not coming for his birthday? You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the kids still don't know anything. They still don't know, but I think they know something at the back of their head, but maybe they are, they've, not, they've not just brought that conversation. Mm -hmm. But someone like Gavin knows. I, I think he brought up this conversation the other time in the, in the car. And uh, we told him that uh, we'll sort it out. My daughter tried to ask me, even on the same very day, mm -hmm. uh, they, she asked me, why can't he then just come for his birthday and then he can go back? Mm -hmm. and then I, I told her, you're still young. You might be tall, but always remember that you're 12 years old. Eh? When you grow up, you'll be able to understand these things. For now, just let it be. And we just, actually, we, we just went in the balcony, we cut that cake, and we sang a, a, a happy birthday in absentia. That's how bad it was. You understand? And it's, it's not like she's de denying me access because... I've disobeyed court orders. I've done all the court orders. Mm -hmm. What is her reason? So you guys cut the cake? We cut the cake. And we sang happy birthday to him. And we took a video. And maybe when it comes this weekend, I'm a, I'm a badaki kata next weekend, blah, blah. We will show him that we actually did a birthday for you, but you're not able to come. Mm -hmm. But we celebrated you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, but how do you think he will feel since he doesn't understand? I don't know. What is we, that? <sighs> I, have, I am a father at the end of the day, I have to explain some things to him, no matter how bitter they, they might seem, mm -hmm. but at some point he has to start knowing the truth bit by bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You've explained... Be be because I will not want him to feel as, as, as if, because all his birthday I've never missed even one, mm -hmm. never. Even last year, I actually went, and I'm the one who bought everything for that particular birthday, mm -hmm. you know. The, 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 the mother has issues about uh, me, me uh, about me posting him, Nini, I've never posted my son on social media. Mm -hmm. I have. In fact, last year when I posted him, I put a big emoji on his face when I was wishing him a happy birthday. I've never posted him, and I don't even intend to ever post him on social media. You understand? Until, uh, because we've also done an, uh, an, an appeal against that, we were, like as far as I'm concerned, I've never done any, anything wrong. Why does the court also take that right away from me posting him? 
You understand? Because all these issues, eh, she's the one who brought them to social media. Nobody knew about her or nobody knew about my son. Had she never approached the, the Telegram uh, blogger, I think we'll be still co-parenting co peacefully. But she's the one who went to the social media. So all these issues are from her. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Mimi Nimefata, I followed every, everything that the court has said. Mm -hmm. If they say don't post him, I have never posted him. And I've gone through all these frustrations for almost nine, actually for more than nine good months. I've never mentioned anything until this very day that she, she denied me access. Mm -hmm. That's when it really, 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 really pained me. Mm -hmm. And I said, let me post this and leave it on the social media because inter internet never forgets. One day when he grows up, he will see, Kumbe, my, my dad did this, and then he'll be able to know the truth, Pole Pole. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, after you posted, you said that so many dads reached out to you who yes. are going actually the yes. same. Actually, not just dads, but, uh, but, but even women. Because mm -hmm. uh, you might find that uh, a woman maybe had issues, maybe she doesn't have a job, Nini, mm -hmm. and then maybe the custody was taken away from her, mm -hmm. and they've been wishing to, to see their children, and they, and they cannot. And some women were, were saying for them, they just wish that the dad will just show up, not even provide anything, just show up for your kids, and the dads never even show up. You understand? Mm -hmm. Some women were, were even wishing they could even just send them transport. They could even send the baby daddy just money so they can buy something and show up for their kids. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't happen for them. The kids ask for their dad, uh, uh, blah, blah, but they never get a chance to ever see their dad. Mm -hmm. But me, I'm all over here. I've done everything that, that the court asked me to do, but I'm still being frustrated from spending a bad day with my son. Mm -hmm. What kind of a, of a person are you really? Let's say, for example, I'm a monster. Like, I'm the worst person you've ever met in your life. But why deny me that chance to spend time with my son? Mm -hmm. No matter how much you hate me, why, why let an 8 year boy be in the middle of this? Mm -hmm. Why? Okay, so right now as we speak, when are you supposed to see him next? I don't know. Okay. Because According to the court. I, 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 I was supposed to be seeing him for the last three weeks. All of them have been denied. And now since I didn't see him uh, this last week and the other week and the other week, I hope she'll agree I see him this weekend. So I just live in hopes, 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 hopes. Because at the end of the day, I also don't want to take matters in my own hand. I believe we have a law in this country. And as a law-abiding citizen, I'm following the law to the letter. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. And, and that's why we... Actually, the main reason why we even did, uh, did the appeal was not, was not because of the 30,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. No. It was because of the contempt of court. We did an appeal because of the frustrations that I've been going through. Mm -hmm. That's According to the, what was leaked, it was like you did the appeal leaks, because of that. Exactly. Hours. What she leaked, she wanted it to appear as if I'm appealing because of 30,000 shillings. Even if the court told me to pay 10,000 shillings, and my lawyer feels uh, even as she has a job, and we are supposed to have equal custody, why can she pay five and I pay five? As far as I'm concerned, I'm paying full school fees. I have bought a new car. And when I'm done with this interview, I'll give all the information. I've bought a car for him. He has a driver, you know? So everybody has a right to appeal as far as I'm concerned. It is my constitutional right. And that's why I'm saying even her, if maybe whatever the court gave went against her, she also has a right to appeal. So why, why get so mad because I appealed? You know, why, why are you so mad that I'm appealing, I'm appealing for 30,000 and you're not mad that you're denying me access to my son? Mm -hmm. Why are you picking only the, the size that you think are favoring you? And even if I'm, I'm appealing uh, that 30,000 until it is hard, I will still keep on paying that 30,000 shillings every month because mm -hmm. I'm a law-abiding citizen. So whatever the court says, I will do what it says. And at the end of the day, I have a right of appeal. You understand? Yes. And that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and what does your wife say about the whole issue? Hey, my wife has, has gone through, through so much about, about this issue because also her, remember she has a son and uh, she wishes that probably uh, he will show up sometimes for his son. So she goes through this and, and, uh, and she sees a man who's trying to be there for his son, but I'm being denied that access. She knows she's the only person who, uh, when you, she, she sees me when I come back. Imagine I wake up so early because I'm supposed to be in Gong at uh, 9 a.m. to pick him, only to come back, find her in bed, and she asked me where's Nate. And I'm like, an access was denied once more. And she knows what I go through, you know. She, she knows how heartbroken I am, you know. Because I drive there on Monday, na nyimu mtoi. Wednesday, na nyimu mtoi. Saturday, she doesn't understand, you know.
How, how are you coping up with uh, the whole issue? Because sometimes she's also dragged uh, to the issue. Uh, social media, there are people who feel, oh, uh, maybe mama kia kutaka yo badri fanyike uko kwa amba and everything. Such conversation. Yeah. How are you dealing with it? If it is not what she wants or what she doesn't want. It is what the court has said. Like I said, I'm following the due process of the law. If the law said this is my weekend, where, where do I need to take my son? The, the law says I'm supposed to have uh, access and custody on a weekend. I pick him on Friday, I drop him on s Sunday. Where do I need to go with my son then? This, this is my home. This is where my family is. Do I get an, an Airbnb and live with him there? Mm -hmm. Or where do I take him then? Because as far as I'm concerned, this is my family. This is the only place that, that I can bring him. Why do I need to go and sort of uh, do a birthday for him in a, in a neutral place and his brothers and sisters are in the same, same house? Mm -hmm. Why? It is, it is my house. This is where I live. Honestly speaking, I don't have two homes. This is the only house that I have. You understand? Mm -hmm. So dragging her in the issues has got nothing to do. As far as I'm concerned, she gave evidence against her. The way she's a bad mother, she's a socialite, she's a blah, blah, blah. But the court said at the end of the day, everybody has a right and a freedom of expression. It is her work. She's a content creator. That is her work. I'm here to support her. And we have never dragged any of our children in any video that we post, unless it's a family affair. So that doesn't prove that I'm a bad parent mm -hmm. just because I'm, a, I'm married to her. Rem remember, she also has a son who's 13 years old and they all live here in the same, same house. Remember, she's taking care of my, of my daughter who's 12 years old. She's taking care of my younger daughter, four months. So what makes her think that she's a bad mother? So the, 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 the Vidovic sons, for example, sh should not be mothers just because they're, they're Vidovic sons. Mm -hmm. You understand? At the end of the day, it is my right as a father. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong that I've done. I'm still the father of that child. Whether you feel I'm a monster, whether I'm, I'm a what, it does not change the fact that I am the father of that son. Mm -hmm. Maybe moving forward uh, from this story, I think by now people have gotten uh, the point, they have understood what exactly is happening because they were like, hey, Tajiri Tena Latike. <laughs> you know, there are so many stories that were coming up. Uh, we saw a video of your beautiful daughter, um, Africana. Mm -hmm. you, re you guys decided to reveal her face. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know, uh, how did you come to that? Uh, oh, we revealed her face. You don't know? I'm not aware. Uh, I'm not aware. Of, we've not done an official. Uh, uh, official. It's not official, but we've already seen her. Oh, you've seen her first? Uh -huh. Okay. But that was not. It wasn't official. We, we will do a proper uh, face reveal probably, I don't know, maybe the next two months or, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Maybe. But, but that was just a, a, a mere photo from the mother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe as we wind up, what, uh, what would you tell to those parents that are going through the same situation that you're going through? I think, I think for their cases, number one, you need to find a good lawyer. And then uh, you, you can go to court, raise these issues in court. Because nowadays the court listens to both sides. You know, Whether you are a father or you are a mother, they listen to both parties. Uh, it might be a long process because mine it took almost uh, nine months. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I waited until the verdict was given. And uh, still there was a few uh, disobeyance of court orders. We, we will still do an appeal. And then, if possible, who knows, we can even go on and request for a, a full custody. So that even her, now she can be coming and picking him and going with him. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I really wish we don't get to that point. I really wish that we could still come to an agreement. You know? And then we, ca we can agree to co-parent peacefully. Because that's what the minor needs at the end of the day. I don't want us to keep on having this drama here and there. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I also hope that if there's any issue, there's no point of going to the social media. Address these things through your lawyer. Social media will not help you. They'll be there, highly abusers at me or at you, blah, blah, but you'll never get, you can only get justice in court. Mm -hmm. So I really hope that whatever egos we both have, we can bury them and then raise this boy the best way that we can. Mm -hmm. We both love him and I know he loves him, but she will remember that this child has a father who also equally loves him. And the only thing that, that you can do, if you really, really, really love your son that much, then let him be with his father as well. You understand? And you know, we, we're not even asking for much. Just a, a weekend every fortnight. That's all we're asking for. Mm -hmm. So for all people who are going through this, go to court. And I really hope that uh, if you have someone who's reasonable, sit down and talk. 
if you're not able to talk and have any uh, 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 um, solid solutions, then now go to court. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Rapudo. I don't know whether you have something else to add. No, 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 no. no. Um, I, I, I think people should not be fast to, 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 to conclude things that they don't even understand, you know? Mm -hmm. So the only reason why I'm, I'm coming uh, to shed light on this is because this matter has already been leaked. And I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to go to the drain as a deadbeat or someone who's never there for my son. You can call me names or you can say anything about me, I'll never respond. But when it comes to my children or my wife, I will respond. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, for taking your time and giving us an opportunity okay. to get to know what has been happening. Uh, and guys, it has been the Mungai Eve Show. In case you're watching this video, make sure you share it. You hit the subscribe button. We'll meet next time.